Jeff, can you just kind of go over a little bit of what Ohio State does so well and, and, and it seems like the times you've played them before has been good games, and, and, and I think you, you kind of know them very well. Yeah, we've had some some great games in, in, in the past. Uh, they're a team that, that, that likes to, to get out and run. They're, a, they're going to press. They forced a significant number of turnovers through their first six games. You've got to be able to take care of the, ba- the basketball and if you're going to turn the ball over, as I've talked to our kids, you've got to have dead ball turnovers. You can't allow it to lead to a two-on-one, three-on-one fast break. We've got to, you know, hold it, get a five-second call if you're trapped, or throw it up into the bleachers. But don't give it to them. Don't give them the the not the, the numbers going back at the offensive end. We've got to do everything we can to, to make it a five-on-five game when it comes to them having the ball. And then if they're going to press, we've got to look to try to attack the score. You can't just attack to, to get it across half court and then try and celebrate because you just break a press. You've got to break the press to try to score. And, uh, you know, we're going to have our hands full with that. They're, they're a very good basketball team. Um, five players close to six in double figures. They shoot, they shoot to three well. They rebound the ball. So it, it's going to be a challenge. I mean, it's going to be a good challenge for us. And I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what progress we've made here in the past week. Coach with five, obviously freshmen on the team, three new players. How are they adapting to the Louisville and Wall style of basketball at this point of the year? Well, I mean, we are learning some things. I mean, there's no question about it. We're just learning how to compete, how to play, um, you know, the 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 target that's on your back un, understanding every game you have to give your best uh and and they are learning that it's just it's just a process uh you know i told everybody at our luncheon you know we're not last year's team you know do we have a chance to be really really good i think we do but it's just going to take a little bit more time as we grow and continue to get better. But even when you go back to uh, to last year, we get beat by Arizona starting off. We we went out west. We struggled against a, a Washington team. We went down to Cal Poly, tur- turn, turn the ball over, I think, 20 times. Uh, scraped out a win at, at Colorado State. And so it takes some time. So when you've got some transfers, you're going to have a little bit of growing pains is everyone tries to get a feel for each other. The, the summers are great to get to know them as people, but you're not getting the opportunity to play five-on-five five against someone else. So I'm expecting us to, to continue to get better. Um, but I, I don't think we're going to go for, for 34 and 2 either. So uh, that, that's part of it as well. But I, I do expect this, this ball club to be much better as we c- c- continue to advance throughout this season. Jeff, you mentioned it's going to take some time. I guess what is that balance like of allowing, you know, those mistakes to be made but still correcting them to make sure that, you know, that, that the progress is still being made? Well, I can see the progress is we are getting better. It's just a matter of being able to do what we're doing in practice and put it into a game. So we'll see how that transpires. But, you know, the, the ones that are, are going to play and, and have to play for us are all the ones that are still getting better. I mean, you've got CeCe, you've got Morgan, you've got Josie, Narika, N- uh, uh, Nyla, and Peyton. You know, players, and even O and Haley, we got everybody that just has to continue to improve their game and, and take it up to that, that, that next notch in order for us to really be able to compete at, at our highest. And, and I truly believe we, we will. It just might not be in a week. It might be in three weeks. It might be in a month and a half. But I do believe that, 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 I do believe that, that, that this team can be special. Jeff, you said Haley uh, could have played last week. Is she is she still on track to, to play tomorrow? Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, she practiced uh, y- y- yesterday. She'll practice today. She looked fine. So excited to, to have her back on the court. 
Coach, when you speak of Norica, obviously had a fantastic game against Longwood. Just talk about her development and growth this year. Well, I'm, I'm just excited for Rake. She's really just – it's all about – her confidence it's confidence in herself i mean we have a ton of confidence in her as a staff her teammates do too she she's just very hard on herself and we we've talked about that you know she'll let one mistake turn into four or five because she's beating herself up and you know if, if she can continue to improve from that side of things her basketball iq is off the charts she passes the ball extremely well she can use her left or right hand she hesitates Great change of pace, uh, really good pull up jump, j j uh, pull up j jump shot. So she's someone that I think can can really help us as we go through this season. Jeff, I know it was late in a in a blowout last week, but you 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 had a one of the biggest lineups out there that maybe you've ever had with Josie. You had Liz and you had uh, Nyla out there. When you throw O in that mix with those four, how can you use them? They're, they're, they're all so different in their way. How can you use them together in, in different bits and pieces and, and maybe mix some things up as far as with your bigs? Well, we might be able to put two of them out there at the same time, but in a regular game, putting three out there is going to be a little bit of a challenge just for ball handling. Uh, you know, we'd probably have to play zone, but it would give us gr gr great size. But I think what we have right now is we just need to continue uh, – to, to get them out there a couple times together, but we will look, at, you know, at times to have four guards with Koss at the four. Um, it just gonna be, it, it's just going to be a game-by-game game to see what presents itself from the other end. Like this Ohio State game with the way they're, they're going to press, it probably wouldn't be a smart idea for me to have three or four of them out there at the same time because they're going to have to handle the basketball. And, and like I tell them, I, you, you don't want to put players – you, you want to put players in positions to succeed. And that's one thing that we talk to our kids about all the time, even with each other. You know, don't give somebody a ball in an area that they're not comfortable. Get them the basketball in an area that they're comfortable to score or comfortable to dribble, whatever it might be. Um, but I'm, I'm seeing progress. I thought O had a really good practice uh, <clears throat> uh, yesterday. Uh, our guards are doing a better job of looking to get them the ball at the right time in the paint. And then our posts are also, we're, we're telling them to, to, to stop wrestling. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to post up every second of the shot clock, which you don't want to. You, you want to get away from the defense. When the ball gets reversed, step in, seal. You know, you don't always want to be down there in a scrum, you know, trying to put your body on somebody to get position, it's okay. Give them time. Get space. Because all of them have a very nice 8 to eight to 10 foot jump jump shot. I guess just piggybacking off of that, obviously you know what you're going to face with Rebecca um, there um, for Ohio State. How will this be a challenge or kind of a measuring stick to see, you know, where Olivia, Josie, Liz are? Well, I mean, I don't consider it a measuring stick. It's not like I'm going to sit here after the game, win or lose, and go, hey, we're here now. You know, it's more of how we compete for uh, for 40 minutes. Uh, you know, O's played in the Final Four. I mean, I think she can han handle herself pr pretty darn well. Um, you know, and I've been really impressed with her pr her progress as we continue to go. And for Liz, you know, Liz is shooting 63% from the field. I've just got to cut her turnovers down. You know, she's traveling a lot. She's, she, she's got happy feet, as we like to say. So she just has to, to relax when she gets the basketball because the other thing that Liz does do is when she gets fouled, she makes her free throws. The, the, the kid's seven for eight at the line. And for Josie, it's just a matter of relaxing. I, I think she's, she's going so fast in her mind that – the game's going fast. I just need this game to slow down for her because I've seen what she what she did at, U, at, at Utah Valley State. And basketball is basketball. You know, she scored on the block without putting it on the ground. And right now when she catches it, she's dribbling. And that's where problems occur because now she's getting doubled. People are collapsing on her. I just need her to ca catch, turn, and score. She she has a great touch. You know, she she hit a three the other night, and she makes them in practice. So that wasn't a surprise to any of us. Coach recently announced that the ACC and Big Ten match would be no more, and it would be an ACC 
versus SEC match. Eat your uh, your thoughts on that? It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I, I'm, I, you know, it's great for the league. They're excited about it. I, I don't. I've always said it. I don't need help scheduling. We we do a great job here of of scheduling. So I, you know, it's just one less game. I I think it's neat. It's a great little, you know, game to have. But like I've said, it's I think it's our seventh game that we've had here. Our eighth is this our eighth? So we're 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 five and two in these games. It's our eighth game, and we've played Ohio State twice and Michigan twice. So is it really a ACC Big Ten, or is it just the same schools? You know, so I'd rather schedule my own and be able to schedule different teams. Uh, that's just that's just me, and I've I've made that known. But I'm fine with it. So we're excited. We'll go to the SEC now. We just wanted to make sure that. It's not going to ever be in place of our Kentucky game. That's a game that needs to be played each year at their place, then the following year at ours, and go back and forth. It's what we've done. Um, and they're, they're well aware of that. So I don't see that ever uh, ever changing. So we'll just play another SEC school. In the past five days, what's been kind of the focus in preparing for, for tomorrow? Well, we're, we've been working on press offense, uh, trying to get cleaner at the offensive end, just even in ha ha half-court execution, and then rebounding the uh, the basketball. Our first shot d defense has actually been pretty decent. It's just our defensive rebounding has been poor, so we've got to continue to work on that and get better at that. Off the subject a little bit, I'm doing something on Danny and the program. She's built here yeah. and taken. She's done a wonderful what, job. You mentioned when you got the job that Tom told you you, you, you didn't want it to be a one-year kind of wonder. Do you see that with them and what she has done and kind of taken this to a new level? Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, it, it's been fun to watch. Uh, D D Danny's very c c competitive. Her staff is, is very competitive, and you can see the type of players that she's recruiting. Uh, she's done a great job of getting players that fit how she likes to play. And I know uh, it's volleyball, it's one way. No, it's not. I mean, they compete. I love watching the excitement, the, the, the competitiveness that, that, that they play with. Um, and she's done a great job of getting good players. I mean, that's, at the end of the day, it's what it all comes down to. You've got to get good, good players that are willing to compete. Uh, you know, just watching the motor that, that they have of they want excellence. They, they're just not trying to, to survive. They're out there to win. And that's what I talk to this group about right now is we can't try to just survive, guys. We're, you're going out there to win every day. But she has done a wonderful job. Excited to see that their, their first two rounds are sold out. Um, and then, you know, hopefully they take care of business the first two rounds and then they can get down here for the uh, Sweet 16 and Elite Eight and hopefully – our fan base have put eight to ten to twelve thousand in this 